Hello, this is how you create, save, and send a saved reply through your Facebook message inbox option. Now, this is huge tool because um, maybe you have frequently asked questions. And so you can use the save re reply option so you're not constantly typing this thing over and over or cutting and pasting from somewhere else um, to keep up with the questions that keep coming through. Or if you have our real estate messenger bot, this is very handy because you have those saved replies that you can use and, and to click on during that process as well. So I'm going to share my phone screen with you and show you how to do this. <laughs> It's not connected, here we go. All right, so from your home screen, make sure that you have your Facebook page app. Click on the app, which will take you directly to your Facebook page. Okay, click on the inbox here, down at the bottom in the menu, <clears throat> that takes you to your inbox. We'll go to me right here, click on a message, okay? Don't worry about messing anything up because there's always ways to fix that. From type message, see this, these three dots right here? Click on that and then voila, saved replies. <laughs> okay, click on saved reply. Now, there are no saved replies in this yet because I wanted to show you how to do this. So from a saved reply, click add, okay? Takes you to create, creating a reply. Enter the title, so we'll say, website okay <clears throat> here is where you enter your message um while you're waiting for our response check out our website Okay, maybe put, hello, we're so happy to chat with you while you're waiting. Yes, I'll correct my errors while you're waiting for our response. Check out our website, okay? And then you click save. <clears throat> there, now look, it is saved in your replies area, okay? Close, now you go back. So let's go back out. <clears throat> you you've already have a message saved. So you know what you want to respond back. So instead of going to type a message, you click on the three dots, click on saved replies, and whoop, there it is, right? Then you click on that and look, it gives you the option to send it before you say before you do it. So then you send and ta-da, there it is. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, or you have a saved reply. <clears throat> Here, I'll show you what I did. You have a saved reply, but you don't like that one. You want to save another one. So you see this circle here? <clears throat> Click on that, and it takes you directly to your replies. If you want to add a new reply, click on this box here, and then there you go. You get to add a new reply. Hello, how are you? Okay, <clears throat> then the writer in me wants to make sure my punctuation is good. <laughs> then you click save. Now look, you have two saved replies. You close, you go back, click on the, <clears throat> and I'm just going back, I'm clicking on the, this um, thing right here so it takes me to type a message. I'm just doing this to show you how to get back, okay? But then you say, okay, I want to send a different saved reply. You click on this, these three dots here, click on saved replies. Now look, I have two saved replies in here. You click on new reply and you send that over, okay? <clears throat> Ta-da! But if you want to go back into more of a conversation type of discussion rather than sending saved replies, you just click on it the text here, the A's, and it takes you back and you can say, 
your conversation there and send it forward. So <clears throat> that is how you save a reply and how you send it. And if you have any questions at all, just let us know. Create a great rest of your day.